Where was your post out here? My post was in the front of the building. It was in the front? Yeah, and on my days off, and they had practice, my brother would bring me back up if I can watch practice. They would practice like right here. I mean, they would practice right here, and they have benches right here. We would stand at the benches or sit down or walk around, but all the fans would be on that side, and then they'll let us walk around over here. Now, were you really working, or were you thinking football during that time? I was thinking football the whole time. This is where Joy Bell watched those practices when he wasn't working the 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. security shift in front of the complex. He was attending college at nearby Wayne State, a Division II university that's just three miles from where the Lions play their home games. I was broke, didn't have any money, so I would work their training camp before our, uh, Wayne State training camp started. So I'd be here every summer from my freshman year until my senior year. Sometimes we'll go in some players' room, we'll just sit down, we'll just talk. Do you remember a couple of specific stories when you're dealing with these guys that, that stick with you even today? Yeah, I just started working there. This particular day, I had no gas. And I, I'll probably make it there, but I won't make it back home. So I'll go to work, barely made it, and um, I go, I'm at my post. When I'm at the post, um, the curfew's at 10 o'clock. So Sean Rogers run, comes in, probably, 9.52, about eight minutes left. And the cafeteria's on the other side of the hotel, so he said, and, and this is how he talks, big baby. Hey, big homie, big homie, big homie. Hey, can you run over there to the cafe? You know, just grab me anything. I don't want to miss curfew. Can you just grab me, whatever you can grab me. I said, I got you, big homie. I go, I run over to the cafe, I grab him some food, I bring it back. He said, man, I appreciate it, man. Thanks, man, I hand him the food. And his roommate said, hold up, you got to throw him something for that. So he goes in his pocket, pulls out this loaf of money and just take this, gave me like $50. I said, well, this is my gas money to get back home. <laughs> Did you ever have any incidents as a security guard out here? No. Nobody ever tested you? No, never, never. It was probably one of the best jobs I had. <laughs> Bell walked away from that job with something far more valuable than spending cash. He also took with him a firm belief that he could make it to the NFL despite playing in the long and cold shadows of the more celebrated major conferences. On my freshman year, I'll never forget it. I was sitting right out in the front of here, um, outside, and a guy was walking in. I knew he was a scout. So I pulled him, I said, sir, can I ask you a question, please? She said, shoot, you know, ask me. I looked him in his eyes and said, you think a player from Wayne State University, a Division II school, can get drafted? He said, listen, look, he looked me right in my eyes and said, listen, if you have the talent, they'll find you. And that's all I needed to hear. Success did not come quickly. His name wasn't called during the 2010 draft, so he spent the next 20 months bouncing among four teams before being signed by the Lions. Now, instead of protecting their fields, he practices on them. And his humility, hard work, and love for all things Detroit has made him a fan favorite. Who is Joy Bell? I think. My play is me. I think my journey is me. I think I'm resilient. I think I'm a hard worker. I'm a blue collar guy. I came from humble beginnings. That's me.